Welcome everyone. This is Frank DeMora, the author of the book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. It's a documentary on Bible prophecy and current events. And you can get my book today for free by going over to my website. You'll see that address below. And once again, I'm going to report about the birds, the fish, and the animals dying, as we see listed to us in prophecy by our Lord and our God. These are warnings of things that we should be looking for in the last days so that you would understand how close we are to the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, in Hosea, for example, chapter 4, verse 3, the Lord shows us in this verse that the beasts of the field, the fowls of heaven, and the fish of the sea are going to be taken away. So we've been seeing the results of this now happening in the birth pangs of these last days as Jesus so clearly pointed out to us in Mark 13 8. And so let me go to another prophecy and this one is made by Jesus Christ in the book of Revelation chapter 16 verse 3 and here we see for example everything in the sea is going to die. He says the second angel poured out his bowl in the sea and it turned into blood like that of a dead man and every living thing in the sea died it means everything so at the end of the day there's not going to be nothing left breathing in the ocean it's going to be dead now almost on a daily basis i'm giving you the updates and i keep telling you that you should keep your eyes on the news because this isn't going to be the last update you're going to continue to see reports like i've been showing you now, my last update, I left off on August the 31st, and I'm going to carry those events, the reports, from that date to September the 6th of 2015 to show you how fast these reports are coming in. Now, before I get going, given the exact report, let me show you this. 651 reports of birds, fish, and animals dying came out in 2014. And so far, in 2015, we have 638 reports. That means in the next four months, all we need is 13 more reports. And I can assure you there's going to be a lot more than 651 reports as of we saw last year and so this is another example of how quick the birth pangs are coming and how much we're seeing this type of news now the first one comes in kazakhstan on the 4th of september and here you're going to see 60,000 antelopes died in four days and of course once again this is a mystery you're going to see the theme now if you go over to my book and you read this section about the birds, the fish, and the animals dying. I have the links there. You click the link, and it will take you right to the report. And you're going to see a lot of these reports. It's a mystery. The officials don't know what's killing either the birds, the fish, and the animals. And here is another prime example of that from the September 4th Life Science Report. 60,000. You'll see them scattered all over the field just drop dead another mystery here we are in France September the 4th you'll see 600 kilos of dead carp removed at Bordeaux this is in France now one again 600 kilos equals to 1322 pounds of fish that's a lot of fish and once again it is a mystery they didn't know what was killing the fish at first they thought it was the oxygen depletion so they tried to reoxygenate the river uh, so at this point it is a mystery this news is may b c september the 4th 2015 thousands of dead fish are washing up in one baytown neighborhood leaving behind a stink and a mess the fish are in the canals that fork off the Barnett Bay. Eyewitness News found tens of thousands of in the canals behind the homes of Yaipin and Raul Yorleans in the Lakewood subdivision. Eyewitness News reach out to the Texas Parks and Wildlife and they tell us that this is a seasonal issue that is common in many canal subdivisions due to low level of the oxygen in the water. 
high temperatures and algae blooms typically cause this. This short video will show you the tens of thousands of fish that just perished there at Dayton Lake. Just think of all the food that's being wasted. Hundreds of thousands of these fish just died. Now if it was isolated cases, it would be one thing. But the reports, you'll see a large geographical area around the world just dying off in mass numbers. There's another one in Africa, September the 4th. And the total of these birds that were killed because of the avian flu totaled 7,399 birds that they killed here. And these diseases, are, like I said, are popping up in many places around the world and we're seeing our food being depleted. So let's move now to Spain, another country, September the 4th. There's many reasons why that birds or fish and animals are dying off and one of the reasons we get these massive storms that are coming in and this one obviously on September the 4th there's tremendous hailstorm that killed 300 flamingos in Spain. Now moving into Taiwan on the 5th now, September. In Taiwan, here's another case of the bird flu. And here we found out that about 14,000 broiler ducks at three farms uh, were killed off. So another place where disease is infecting the food. That's a lot of birds. 14,000 birds died from avian influenza. Now, Tunisia, September the 6th, 2015. So Tunisia is no different from most of these other places where thousands of these fish are dying off. And you'll see here, according to this article, it's another mystery. They couldn't figure out what is killing the fish. All right, so now we're going to turn our attention to Spain, September the 6th. And here we have, again, contaminated water that was responsible, as you can see here, for 30,000, almost 31,000 fish, carp, that were killed because of some type of contamination. Now, as I always do after each presentation, I'll tell you, keep your eyes on the news. Keep your eyes on the things that Jesus warned about both in the Old Testament and the New Testament because we're seeing all of these things taking place in one single generation. Now the birds, the fish, and the animals is a small part of it, but when you put all of it together, all of the signs that the Lord told us to look for, and we're seeing them happening all at the same time, that is the key to understanding that it is no longer a laughing matter and you cannot dismiss what you're seeing. And you're going to continue to see the same thing. And I'm hoping, if you don't believe it now, that someday that you will understand that the signs that the Lord has been showing you was for a purpose. And that was to get you saved. So that you'll understand those signs from the Lord Jesus Christ was directing you into his arms for salvation. Please take that salvation today. And all you have to do is ask the Lord, come to Jesus. Ask him to be your Father, ask Him to be your Savior. Ask Him to forgive you of your sins, past, present, future. And ask Him to show you how to live your life for His will. This is Frank DeMore from the End Times Research Ministry. God bless.